Hey guys, so this is kind of an optional video, but I'd recommend making this switch. So the feature that I want to do next is forgot password. And to do forgot password, we're going to be sending some emails. And right now we're using Spark Post. Um, but Spark Post did not work as nice as I wanted it to. Uh, I didn't realize how little uh, number of emails you can send before you have to basically confirm your account and whatnot, get a domain. So what I want to do in this video is switch over to Node Mailer, which will work a lot better for testing out emails. So they have this system or this separate service called Ethereal that we can basically send dummy emails to and see it. So they have this nice little example here. So I would recommend just running this on your computer um, and seeing if you can get this to work. So I just made a little folder called test node mailer and I just made it an NPM project. So I init dash Y and then I went ahead and installed a uh, node mailer. And I went to just ethereal.mail and copied this example. And I'm just going to create an index.js, paste the code in, and uh, we can run this. And what it's doing is it creates a test account for you, so a test email. And uh, then it actually just sends an email to this test account. Now how it works is it doesn't actually send emails. If we run this code, what will happen, and uh, we'll see it right here, is a URL will be formed. So this is basically a preview of what the email looks like. So I can actually just click on this and I can see the email that was sent. So I said hello to myself, there we go. So this is what we're going to set up in our application today. And uh, basically replace Spark Post with uh, Ethereal. So we're going to, whenever we send an email, if we want to, for example, click on a confirmation link, what we'll do is we'll just come to the terminal and click on the preview to do so. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this. So head on over to the code. Here is send email, so in server source utils we have send email, and this is how we were sending emails before, so we're just gonna change this up. And you're gonna go ahead and install uh, the types for node mailer, and also go ahead and install node mailer itself. I've done so already, um, so I have those, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna first pretty much just paste in what we have, uh, not my email, um, but paste in this guy. And we're just going to switch it up a little bit. Uh, because we really want this to be a function here. Send email, right? And we want to send a URL or whatever. So I'm going to import node mailer. And we're going to switch over the syntax. And we're going to have to ins uh, import it like so. Now what they do is they create a test account every time they send an email. Uh, you could do it this way if you want to. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit wasteful to create a test account every time you want to send an email. So I'm going to uh, click on create an ethereal account and uh, basically just copy this username and password or copy this configuration right here um, and use this and basically I'll send emails using this fake account here. Um, so I can paste the code in here and so this is what we're going to use as our transport instead of this stuff right here. Uh, so we can actually just get rid of this creating account stuff. And I mean, there's a sim yeah, some curly braces at the bottom we can get rid of too. All right, so here's our message. Now our message, we can change up to how we have um, up here as well. So we want to actually just have a link in there. I don't really care about uh, this stuff. So I'm going to just paste in my HTML and I'm just going to copy what we did here. And we're gonna put this whole block into the function up here. So we can get rid of this and paste in this stuff into our function send email. And so we no longer need this spark post stuff at the top and get rid of that. So we're creating the transport. And if you want to, you can also put the user and the password as a um, environment variable. I'll probably do this myself. And then uh, here's our message. We're gonna make this const. Let's change uh, who we're actually sending this to. So I'm going to make this a string template. And I'm gonna 
gonna say recipient. Now, you probably wanna, if you know like the person's name, uh, I assume you wanna like put their name here and whatnot. Uh, sending the URL, that's good. And then here we're just sending an email. Uh, it looks like we're not returning always. We don't, I'm not, I don't, we don't need to actually crash the entire application or uh, every, if it fails. And uh, now we should get this URL whenever we send an email so we can click on it. So I have my server up and running over here so I can see it. So I'm going to, from my app, I have register up. So I'm going to open up the console. Um, I have it docked, funny. Let's bring it down uh, to the bottom. And let's do bob at bob.com and register him. So let's see, email's already taken, all right, because I've created this guy before. So Bob2, um, email's already taken. By the way, the, the email is not showing up, or the error's not showing up here. Uh, I don't know, so like it says already taken, but it doesn't tell me that when I'm signing up or registering here. So we need to fix our register controller to actually show this. Um, cool, so that one was sent. If I come over here, Let's see if we can see the email getting sent. Oh, I have it turned off, that's right. So in my modules, register, resolver, let's go ahead and uh, put this back. And we don't have to confirm their email anymore. And so I need to uncomment this stuff here, and uncomment this stuff here. And uh, that looks good, do we have any errors? We need to add a comma here. Let this restart, and then this should send an email now. So I'm gonna do Bob for now. That's up and running. We'll register. And all right, so we got a URL here. Let's copy that. All right, so we can see our little email here. Let's see if I actually click this. We can see if you look at the bottom left of my screen, you can see the URL preview and uh, we actually go to that URL. So cool. So this is what we're gonna be using for sending emails now. So when I do forgot password, I can send as many emails as I want. Uh, we don't really need to send that many when we're testing it. We'll probably send like 10 or whatever, just in the, the process of testing out forgot password and whatnot. But now you won't hit into get uh, stuck into any kind of rate limiting uh, with Spark Post and also you don't have to worry about creating a new email every time and going to like 10 minute email. So I thought this was a little better of a process for testing out emails and stuff. Definitely I should have gone with this uh, starting out uh, instead of Spark Post. I just forgot how nice Node Mailer was because I've actually used this before. But that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching.